Hi, I'm Victoria Ward. I'm a physician at Stanford Center for Health Education and the Medical Director for Digital Medic. Welcome to Viral Facts. I know a lot of you have questions about COVID-19 because as physicians, we get asked about them all the time. So for the next few minutes, I'll answer one of the more common questions these days. I'm COVID vaccinated, so what am I allowed to do? Well, the good news is the CDC has relaxed some of the recommendations for those people who've been vaccinated, particularly as it relates to visiting another household besides your own. So scenario number one, the best case scenario. Your household and another household have all been fully vaccinated. This is what we've been waiting for. It is now safe for a fully vaccinated household to gather indoors with another fully vaccinated household without wearing a mask and without social distancing. So it may be time to make up some of that lost time you've missed with your loved ones. Now scenario number two is a bit different. Let's say your household is fully vaccinated and you're visiting relatives in another household that's unvaccinated. Well, it's okay to gather indoors with one unvaccinated household without masks if the people living in the unvaccinated household are considered low risk of severe infection or death caused by the coronavirus. But be careful. You definitely shouldn't visit unvaccinated, high-risk people, especially without a mask. Scenario three. If I'm vaccinated, can I travel? We have more good news here, yes. If you are vaccinated, you are in the clear to get on a plane and the research tells us you should be safe to do so. You do not need to get tested before leaving the United States unless your destination requires it. And currently, you do not need to self-quarantine after arriving back home. So that brings me to scenario number four. Can I go to large gatherings and parties? Well, the current answer is not yet, especially unmasked. While new studies in both humans and animals have shown that fully vaccinated people are very unlikely to become infected with a virus and less likely to be asymptomatic carriers, it's still important to note that the risk isn't zero. So it's recommended that vaccinated individuals continue taking the necessary precautions in public spaces. It's still risky to attend large public gatherings unmasked since there may be many people who aren't yet vaccinated and who are at high risk for getting severe illness from coronavirus. I hope this clears up some of the questions about what you're allowed to do once you've been vaccinated. We'll be back next week with answers to more of your questions. In the meantime, subscribe and ring the bell to make sure that you don't miss our next episode. You can also visit our website for tons of accurate information about COVID-19 anytime.